Welcome by another video, this time adaptiveness. But first let's check my main.doc, what I have here. So in my material app, my home widget is the home page widget. In my home page widget, I have a scaffold and my body is a column. Inside this column, I have a slider widget, a divider and a switch. I already run it and you can see here in my iPhone simulator, the slider and the switch. The only thing I notice is that this is the material design widget, but I'm running here on an iPhone simulator. So it would be nice to have the Cupertino style of the widget and of multiple ways of, of doing this. One way, for example, is we could check on which uh, platform you're currently running on. So we can do a is iOS check. And if so, we can just build the Cupertino switch. And if you're not running on uh, iOS, we can just build the normal material design switch. Let's copy the insides. There we go. Let's do a hot reload. And there we go. Because we're running an iPhone simulator, I got the Cupertino switch here instead. And it fully works. So this is nice, but this is a lot of code. And there's a little trick that will reduce code. And I will show you. I will remove the code again. So we're back at your original code, as you can see here. And now, instead of switch, I will call a different constructor, called the adaptive constructor. And if you have a look inside the source code, you can read creates a Cupertino switch if the target platform is iOS, creates a material design switch otherwise. This is exactly what I wanted. So now, if I hot reload, I got the Cupertino switch. And I could do the same for the slider widget. I will call the adaptive constructor, hot reload, and I got the Cupertino slider instead. Well, this is it for now. Have a look at my other videos. See you guys soon.